Hello, everybody. Welcome to Goosebumps. Welcome to Goosebumps. Well, today we have three episodes from the original 90s Goosebumps TV show, and we're going to watch them today to see if we can answer the question of, is Goosebumps actually scary? I remember watching this and crying. I remember crying. <laughs> Let's get into this. The Haunted Mask is a frightening Halloween story. Shut up and just play the episode. He is not making this sound scary at all. Hey, instead of telling us what happens, can you just show us? She is going to put on the Haunted Mask. Today we are encountering ghosts. (laughs) (laughs) That was totally not funny. I'm sorry. Oh my God, Beth, that was totally not not funny. funny. Guys. Oh my God, you're such a crackhead. I'm all out. What? (laughs) What? What? Emily. Oh my glob. (laughs) She's just watching her friend get murdered. I'm really glad someone gave birth to a referee whistle. Like that is the most annoying kid I've ever heard. I swear I had nothing to do with that. You know I'd never hurt you. I love the 90s soundtrack so much. Just like something dramatic happens and it's like, you want like the world's loudest electric piano? Here you go. Those feathers are not securely attached to that costume at all. And no. <laughs> Why do you own a really big duck costume? Halloween. What's wrong, Curly Bat? <laughs> What, did they all see it? Yeah, the kids that were literally facing the other way were like, ha, ha, ha. One person started laughing because of peer pressure. They're like, oh, 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 it's my cue. Ha, 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 ha. Meanwhile, in any social situation like that, even if it's right in front of me, I'm like, wait, what? What happened? Oh, okay. <coughs> Why'd you do that? Yeah, Bren's room's already dusty enough. Yeah, you got dust in my eyes. What are you doing here? It's a store. Your store is open. What are you doing here? To be fair, that was always me when a customer approached me. Whoa, it's the back rooms. No, that is one back room. A single room in the back. Oh, good. It's a meth lab. Anyway. (laughs) Uh, These masks, they're so real looking. Chuck and Steve would just die. (laughs) Here, 30 bucks. (laughs) That's all it costs? (laughs) She's like, huh, they made fun of me. What if I summon a demonic entity with $31? When you get your demons from Wish? <laughs> Ew. Me getting ready for the day. What is this perspective of her opening the door? That is just somebody else. No, her arm's like out here, so she's just... Yeah, it's like in COD when your gun's like up here the whole time, but then it's like up here when you aim. You aim, and then the stock of the gun goes through your mouth so you can see down the sight, you know? We're going to ignore how in Fortnite it goes from third person to first person when you use a scope. That actually upsets me because so many games have done that very thing better. <laughs> like those guys at King's Island to like skate past you and think they're scary. I would love that job. They're like, look at my rollerblades and like, ah. I want to be one of the knee pad guys, but then I'd walk up and just actually like metal scream at someone just to scare the crap out of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would just like try to skate and then just slip and die. Chuck and Steve. That was a lot of S's. Chuck and Steve. Jack. How do you know that's Chuck and Steve? One of them's a bed sheet and the other one has a trash bag and a hood. I, I can't tell who those are. You're not going to believe this, but it feels like real skin. <laughs> uh, don't laugh like that after that. Okay. It's like it's made out of real skin. <laughs> I think it's really disgusting. I said, but it's too weird for words. <laughs> what is happening anymore? Calm down. By the way, this is apparently the best episode in the series. Oh my god. <laughs> You told me we were starting with a good one. I've been sitting here like, did we actually start with the good one? It's really not. According to like the IMDB ratings and the articles I read about the show, this is supposedly one of the better episodes. (laughs) Do you see that that gravestone on the left there? Like right behind the main one that just says, Died, died, and nothing else? Well, it says something above it, but you can't read it. (laughs) No, I like the thing that only says died. I'm dead. (laughs) 
an actual 90 degree angle coming out of a tree. And what is this episode going to be scary? It's not scary yet. No, it's not supposed to be scary. It's supposed to give you goosebumps. The only goosebumps I've got were from where my cold, my wow. <laughs> what? Poor Carly Bird didn't want to give up her head tonight. But I took it anyway. <laughs> How are you making that weird voice? Dude, none of these people know how voices work. How are you? Wait, how's your head on the stick? And why do you sound different? What? This isn't really supposed to be her voice, but it is clearly her voice. If that mask is supposed to be some kind of entity, if it sounded like that, I would just laugh. Like if I encountered a real demon that was like, Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Over here sounding like Toad from Mario, like, wow. <laughs> I cannot remove that mask because it is not a mask. It is a real face. <laughs> the, the, the like, AC in the background and the lights humming just and nothing happening. It's a real face. He's like microwaving his dinner, waiting for his <laughs> hot pocket and this like demon walks in his door. It's a real face. <laughs> they weren't ugly in the beginning. What is that little face in the background? <laughs> Brent, I hate how you can make every face. This face <laughs> is your face now. No. I can't take it seriously with the pog pot in the background. There may be one possibility. <laughs> they got closer to it. It's so just like, there's one possibility. It's so funny. Look at her like, oh. <laughs> it's like almost Moyai levels of just do. Ah. Oh, shh, shh, quiet, quiet. Awaken them. Oh, okay. That doesn't look good. They float! Yeah, no, this isn't creepy. This is just Spy Kids crap. Up to this point, it was like a little creepy and weird. Now it's just ruined entirely. This is like zero skulls out of 10 instead of one. Let's just say I've learned a lot about myself tonight, Mom. Oh my god, when will this end? No. Now that wasn't too scary, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't. You're right, it wasn't at all. No, it really wasn't. I like the jack-o'-lanterns in the background that are just like, hee <laughs> They're just laughing at him. How many skulls do we rate this episode on the scary scale? I will give it a one skull out of five. I was going to say, I'm not putting that much thought into it. It's a one. It could have gotten like a two or a three if the floating mask thing didn't happen. The next episode we're going to watch is considered one of the worst episodes in the entire series so given what we just watched i can't wait this theme song slaps it's such a banger oh now this feels like goosebumps the minute your parents come through that door with the new baby they're not even gonna know you're here strained peas oh no me every morning <laughs> Why does that cabinet look like a lot of doors surrounding nothing? It really no, it does. Ew. Door cabinets. I feel like we're ignoring this demonic scream that just came from this baby. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, you're right. And also those extra instruments and percussion that came along with her. That baby has the power of an orchestra behind it. She's a baby barf factory. Yeah, that's what a baby does. They cry and they poop and they barf, and that is all they do. Also, barf factory is like 90s dialogue in one sentence. This whole thing's like a barf factory, psych. <laughs> <laughs> NASCAR. What channel is it on? They aren't hard donors. Get it! Let go! Your history, big brother. Annoying orange style, just masked on mouth to make the baby talk. Bren, you should mask your mouth onto me. Make me say something. <laughs> Ew, just you chewing? That's so disgusting. But she talked. I heard her. I recorded it. That I'm not even convinced the stuff with the baby is actually happening at this point. I think this kid's just insane. Yeah, for real. See, maybe he is hallucinating because he's been awake for so long from her crying. She ate my math book. She bite that? What? The kid's like, I eat books. She ate my math book. I wouldn't be mad at that. I would be like, hey, cool. My sister ate my math homework. My sister <laughs> ate my homework. It's so dumb. This is getting a negative one so far. You understand why I was giving the last episode a little bit of slack now. We may have to revise our rankings. The standard has now been set. Charlie! Bren, I'm going to actually kill you. <laughs> that is the world's <laughs> oldest meme. Thanks, Bren. What the? 
is really next level stupid. Did she take the monitor with her so he could hear her break stuff? Yes, the spite baby. If I hear this stupid diminished chord again, I'm gonna throw my ears. I love it, but in a campy way. Like the soundtrack has been the same chord over and over. It's Cause it's scary. Oh. This looks bad, doesn't it? Dude, really? Hey, how many times are we gonna Phineas and Ferb this child? Can we get to the point of the episode already? Hello. Baby. Wait a minute. So is the episode going to end like this with the parents never finding out that baby was like demonically possessed? Pretty much. Are you kidding me? There's been no payoff to all this bull crap the entire time. Oh, there's going to be a payoff. We're going to see who this baby is for. Ah, uh, look, darling. Oh, it's just my so baby. Cute. He has got your eyes. <laughs> Alien baby. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so stupid. How many skulls do we give this episode? <laughs> I actually don't know. Because, like, the standard set by the other episode has changed. Like, maybe negative three. Yeah, because it was just funny, and then it didn't have payoff. It gets a sniff out of five. Yeah. Okay, well, this is called Night of the Living Mummy 2, and no, there is no Night of the Living Mummy 1. Goosebumps was notorious for doing that. Was making, like, making, like, twos and threes, but no one. Ones. I thought they already did this to the bathroom upstairs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> However many times he hits that pipe is how many skulls this one gets. Well, we had to call it the exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What show are we watching right now? Goosebumps. As someone who watched like 10 to 20 episodes of this last night, this is definitely Goosebumps. Somebody did a new one. So I did. Why don't you look behind the couch? It's the most entitled child. You said you'd give me a new puppet. Like, okay. You were just sitting there and you didn't see that giant box. It's just a box. She didn't know what was in it. You're just a box. Oh. Hot oh, Dennis. I told you to stop getting possessed at night, Dennis, you silly goose. Come on, man. Cyril, what is it? It's ruined. Just look. It's totally destroyed. Hey, are they gonna blame it on the girl like they did in the last episode when they blamed it on the kid? And then she'll be like, wow, this is possessed. And they'll be like, no, it's not. You're crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know. No claps from me. That was the worst strumming I've ever seen. Or heard. He was like out of tune and playing bad and singing bad. Clap, Clap your hands. hands. Also, apparently the only things that can happen in Goosebumps are possession or things get stuck to you. Or both. Alicia, what have you got there? Dolls. I found them. <laughs> dolls. I found them. I mean, when I find dolls. <laughs> I don't know the sound effect they were using where an entire tree was being bent. <laughs> you really and truly believe that Slappy is responsible for all this? Then maybe we need to get some help. Maybe we need to get rid of Slappy. Easy solution. Okay, these parents are at least on the right track that the other one should have been on of like, hey, you think a doll is doing all of this stuff? You should maybe get like therapy. Are you okay? They're not like, you should go live with your grandparents. You suck. That's not what guitars do. Sound of guitar dying. The life was leaving its strings. Uh oh, Jude's gonna play guitar to prove that guitars don't sound like that when guitars break. They can do that. This is getting more boring by the minute. It sure is. Hey, Sarah. Wanna play? Thank God. Okay, actual payoff. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Hey, what's, what's going, going on? on? Who turned off all the lights? No one was like, hey, can you do that again, but less awful? <laughs> like they were like, whatever. Yeah. Hey, at least there's like an actual tense element to this episode so far. I'll give them props for that. If I was like eight, this would be pretty spooky. I think the first one would be scarier if we weren't, you know, 20. If you didn't do it, and who? 
It's good to be back in the family again. <laughs> oh, hiya there, Goofy. <laughs> Oh, dog, oh, dog, oh, diggity dog. Awesome. I'll give it a three because I hate like dolls and stuff like that and puppets. And it was one of the better ones. Three is a good rating. The first one, 1.5. And the second one is a zero. I agree with those ratings. None of them were like properly really scary. See, I remember watching the show back when I was like small and stupid and it wasn't good back then. It's definitely not good now. <laughs> yeah. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you stay subscribed to watch our next video where we take a look at the scariest channel on YouTube. Be sure to watch the Monster House video. <laughs> right there. Right here. Have a day.